Hello friends, in continuation with the series of using the LMS system, today, right now I'm going to demonstrate how you can go and make a quiz for your students. All you have to do is go to the right circle over here and turn the editings on. Once you'll be able to do the editing on, you can add up an activity or resource based on your choice. If you will see that there is an option coming up called as quiz, it's kind of mini exam that you can conduct for your students, you will select that quiz and select add. So he is going to give you the first option, let me say quiz on basics. I can write down a small description, basic information and testing with the help of quiz. A display description is always helpful because the student will come to know that what he's going to get in the quiz with the help of description. The important point is you can set the timing of the quiz. Say for example I want the quiz to occur tomorrow at say for example in the morning nine o'clock and the quiz should finish tomorrow itself by 11 o'clock. That means after 11 o'clock, the students will not be able to give the quiz online. So what I do is, if I want to open the quiz at a time, I will enable the time and date. And if I want to close the quiz at a time, I will enable the time and the date. In case, if you want, you can make a time limit also for the quiz so that it becomes easy for you that after say 30 minutes or 60 minutes the quiz will automatically wipe out but in case a better approach is to make it time bounded from here now after this all you have to do is you can just go save and display the quiz so as you can see this will tell the student that on 16th of March at 9 o'clock the quiz will open before that, they cannot give the quiz. And on 16th of March at 11, the quiz will close. That means after that also, they cannot appear in the quiz. So all you have to do is click on edit the quiz and you will be able to see a menu in which you will be able to attach some questions. If you will see, there are certain, certain points in this particular page. You will see edit the heading, select items, your grade for the quiz and shuffle option. So let us add one question directly to the quiz. There are three options, however, a new question from question bank and a random question. But at the beginning stage, let's add a new question. So let me add a multiple choice question and I will click add. All it's gonna do is, he's going to ask me what is the name of the question. You can write down any name for the question in particular, but for me, I will try to always write down Q1, Q2, Q3, and like this, so that it becomes easy for me to identify what's the name of the question. So here is the text. Let me write down how is the video which I am giving. So the default mark is one, and the general feedback if you want to give, you can give it to your students. But in case, if you will not write anything, then also it's pretty fine. So here are the answers. So let's say it's good, which I hope maybe it's not the correct answer for you. Let's say on the choice two, we are writing it's very good. The third choice may be excellent. And the fourth choice can be amazing. Now let's say the correct answer is amazing so I can give a hundred percent to this particular answer there can be some answers which are partial correct and partial incorrect you can give them the weightage according to this particular available weights so in case if you're gonna say that the answer is 50 percent correct the total grade mark is say for example one point so in case if the student marks the answer as 
that option which is 50% correct, he will not get 1, he will get 0.5. So accordingly, you can write down more feedbacks and more questions and finally when you are done, and in case if you want more choices to be insert, you can click on blanks for more. But in this case, if you are going to mention five choices, you will be visibly see five choices. If you are going to mention four choices, the fifth choice will not be visible as blank. So in that case, all you have to do is you can save the changes and you will be able to see one question which is connected in your database of the questions. So this question on a multiple choice type is now selected and available inside the quiz. All you have to do is after you make all the questions, don't forget to click on shuffle of the questions so that if two or more students are sitting close to each other, uh, they will not be able to see the same question at the same time coming on all of their screens. After that, all you have to do is just save the things and once it is saved, you can come out of this section. You will be able to see the same screen that is the quiz on basics after you come out and now you will see a preview button is enabled. So let's click on the preview and if you want to preview the question, this type of quiz will be available for your students. Say for example, you can preview, it was a good attempt, it's fine. And now you can select the correct answer, whatever you wish to. And for me, if I say it's an excellent and I will try to finish the attempt, he's gonna ask me, submit all and finish. And he's gonna tell me that you have uh, submitted one answer. In case some questions are remaining, uh, you will be able to see these flashcards available at the right side and all the questions whom you have not answered will be available without this color. So all you can do is you can return back to the question or in case if you have completed, then you can submit all and finish. Again, he's going to ask you, do you want to submit all and finish? And what you can do is say yes and yep. So you're gonna get these answers properly. So you can see that the feedback says that this question is wrong, the correct answer is amazing, and you made a wrong answer. And you can see your grades that out of 10, you got a zero. So in this way, if you think that the quiz is perfectly working, then the students can take the quiz the next day whenever it is prescribed to occur in the system. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.